We're here at the Mobile World Congress in Los Angeles and we're showing the dual mode 5G Cloud Core from Ericsson. So the dual mode 5G Cloud Core is all about the evolution of 5G Core. So in the dual mode you support both 4G and 5G. So you have functionality both for the EPC Core and the 5G Core. So in this solution we have eight products. We have the Packet Core Gateway, we have the Packet Core Controller, the resource controller, cloud core subscription manager, policy exposure, and as well the data storage manager. So the full mobile core we have there. So if you look a little bit inside, uh, we see that we have all the network functions for 3GPP. They're all open interfaces so that you can interwork with other, other uh, vendors' uh, solutions. But we are packaged them in a smart way so that you have a flexibility in terms of deployment. So you can deploy either a 4G only system or a combined system, which we call dual mode, or you can do only a 5GC system. So the green ones in the slide here, you show they are 4G uh, EPC, uh, 3GPP network functions. And the brown, orange ones, they are the new 5GC standard. So why is this important that you have support for both? because it gives you the possibility to migrate in a very flexible and a very smooth way. So there will be mobiles for 4G around for several years, and you need the EPCs to support that. But then the 5GC is used and the standalone architecture with the mobiles that requires the new uh, 5G core uh, architecture. So this is very flexible, and it has a lot of uh, benefits. One of the major benefits is that all of this is uh, made from uh, containerized cloud-native deployment. So all from start, everything is based on Kubernetes. So that means that you have a lot of uh, benefits. And one of the major benefits is that you have in-service software upgrade. And we actually want to show how we upgrade a part of the AMF in the Packet Core Controller, uh, which we're running live in Dallas, Texas. So I will shift the screen here. So this is a screen showing three microservices running a part of AMF. Uh, so they are now on the version 100. Uh, and what we want to do is first to register a new software version. So now we do something which is called canary testing. So I will initiate the canary testing here. Canary testing means that you take, you pick one, one microservices pod that you upgrade at a time and you test the software with a small number of subscribers. So you see now we have like 263 UEs here standalone, and they are distributed across these three uh, microservices. And now the first one is upgrading in the bottom one there. So it's upgrading to uh, version number 101. So uh, it's not fully up and running yet with the new software. In the meantime, the subscribers are redistributed in order to not have any service uh, impact. And now the, uh, this, the microservice that we upgrade is coming up. It's not fully ready yet, so it will not take any new, uh, uh, new subscribers. The existing ones are though redistributed. So, and you see up to the top there, there is no impact on, on the service, so it's uh, working uh, flawlessly. So now when you have tested this microservices pod, and you have the same KPIs that you had before, you, you can do upgrade of the rest and you're sure that the software will work. So what we do then is that you run the finalist, finalist upgrade and then it will be a rolling upgrade. So all the remaining microservices will be upgraded to version 101. It will be the same procedures. It takes about like 45 seconds each. So the next one will be the one in the middle uh, coming uh, soon up as uh, it's coming now, you see it will be redistributed, the subscribers will be then distributed to the first one that was upgraded and to the old one there. So now this middle one is, uh, is beginning to get up and, and uh, being upgraded. It takes about 45 seconds per microservice being upgraded uh, and during the time there is no service impact. So. Uh, and when that is done for the first one and the second one, you do the remaining one.
And in normal case, you would have hundreds of these microservices. And now, in this case, we only have 259 UEs, standard on UEs, in this case. So it's, it's a quite small system that we have in the lab. But we're actually showing it live, and this will give a lot of benefits in terms of reduced OPEX for the operator. So now we have upgraded two of the microservices, and the last one is coming up soon. So now you see the uh, subscribers are redistributed to the uh, uh, lower ones, which are already running. The first one over here is actually now coming up with a new version. And soon it will be taking subscribers as well. And uh, when we're done that, the system is upgraded to the new version in a smooth fashion. So this is very important. So you only upgrade the part of the software where you want to upgrade. So the rest is going as uh, earlier. So you will have a mix of uh, versions, which means that you have a very smooth upgrade. It's no big bang thing, so this is very smooth. So that's uh, now they're all upgrading and running on one on one. So that's it. That's the dual mode 5e cloud core from Ericsson.